Now, what I'm going to do is go through that same lesson here. Now, obviously she knows the song, but I'm going to break it down, what I'm doing to help her see this very quickly, to help her understand the game. She's never played, you know, now she's just played this, of course, but I'm going to break this down so that you know how to demo. So this is a demo, how to demo. And it's kind of the logic and the thinking and the words behind a very quick demo and a very effective demo. Within this, the most important thing is that people have a successful musical experience. So you've got to be very attentive. You've got to be very careful. Music is infinite. Now, all, everyone can do these songs. It's just, it may take someone five minutes, may take someone 10, may take someone 15. Most people are in the five to seven minute range sometimes 10 minutes, it depends on what you're doing, but the more concise you can make this demo, the better, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go start the demo again, and I'm gonna stop at every stage and show you what I did. Not only do it, then say, why did I do that, okay? So I'm gonna start the demo over, and I'm, I'm gonna take this away here. We're gonna start over, Maria. We're gonna do the same song, okay? but I'm gonna show people how I taught you, okay? So I want you to just do what you did, and I know you're gonna do it so well, again, because you already did it so great, but I want you to just show them again how you, how you learned, okay? So we're gonna go back to worlds. Do you want a, a different world? Or maybe we'll leave the same world. That'll be easier for us. What world were we at? Um, future. future space, and we had this and we had a level one okay and no fingerings when we started okay so so I'm gonna start on level one and I'm using a song wings that I like particularly it's a little challenging it's song number seven in, in our curriculum but kids like it and it's it, it kind of shows you how far you can push kids right from the beginning but you can start on uh, song number one, number two, number five, wh whatever you want. But Wings is one that I just particularly like. And we're going to start on level one with no note labels and no fingerings. And I'm looking at the visual screen right now. And Maria's going to go, and I'm going to stop this in just a second. I'm going to start the game, and I'm going to have my hand ready to press the P on the computer screen. Okay? Now she was already getting nervous because it's coming, it's coming, right? She knows she has to do something. But what we're doing here is just giving them a grid, okay? So Maria, you see a color-coded keyboard up here. Notice my hand, okay? Notice my hand. I'm using color-coded keyboard, color-coded keyboard. I've just said three words, but they totally get that these correlate, okay? You have a black line with a black game object going up to the black key. Guess which key you hit? Exactly. And then you have another black line and another black key, and that's one's up here, right? Okay, now on this song, I'm going to want you to actually hit that one with the same finger. So I want you to cross over, fly over. Notice how I'm holding her hand. I've actually put the exact finger where it needs to go, and I hold her hand, and I put it over here. And then you're going to fly back, okay? All right? So, when do you hit it is after this green line. And I point exactly to the green line at the bottom of the keyboard. You have all the way up to the red line, but the best place is between the green and the yellow. Okay? And that's the general zone I want them to aim for. The tolerance is actually all the way up to the red, and it starts as soon as it touches the green line, all the way till it touches the red line. So this area, the, the perfect time is when it touches the, the yellow. That's when the accompaniment plays. But most kids aren't that precise, so we give them quite a margin of error when they're first starting. Again, we want a successful musical experience. Okay, so when it gets in there, that's when you, the ideal time to press. Now I'm going to free it up, and she's, you ready to get it? It's going to be right there, okay? And then you're going to fly over, ready? Good job. And then I, green, blue, green, right? Great. Notice how I touched her fingers here? Now you're gonna fly, good job. And then right hand, okay. Very good. Now, she's already doing well here. If I see she's doing well, left hand, fly. 
flyover. I'm going to let her go through the first cycle of the song because the song repeats. Right? Okay. Now, this is the bridge, right? And now I'm going to stop it. I hit pause. I say, you're doing great. Okay? I'm going to take you to level two. Now again, in a demonstration, I'm trying to move them through this very quickly. I hit number two, and I jump back, and I, and I tell them. All right, so what we did is we turned the keyboard this way, and I, and I take it here, and I turn it so they can see that. Okay, so your right hand is high, and your left hand is low. All right, you see how she's tilting her head? That's what kids normally do. They just go, I get it. All right, we thought this was going to be a tough explanation, but in fact, they get it right away. All right, so put your hands in the same place. It's the same song. It's good to remind them because they don't know the song. This is actually just the second part of the song. It's just a repeat, okay? So she's just repeating now what she already did. And, okay, that's your right hand. Green, blue, green. I touch her again on the fingertips just to get her clear. And then left hand. Good job. Now let's say she was having trouble. Right? Just a little confused, a little frazzled. I go, it's okay. And I would hit the left arrow key and I would slow it down. I'm not going to do that because we're synchronizing this. But all I do is hit the left arrow key and it would slow way down so she can absolutely get it. Right? And if she's like freaking out or frazzled, I say, look, we'll, we'll go back to level one. Let's get level one. The important thing to understand is that there's, this is learning through muscle memory. Okay? She's doing a great job. Fly over. Okay, now at this point, she's done a great job, right? But I've interrupted the game with the escape, and I said, great job, and I everyone give her a hand, right? And then I jump to, uh, I'll actually exit the song, because I want this to start over, go back to play, hit escape, very quickly, go to show options, and go to level three. On level three, I like to take away the guidelines, and add the fingerings, okay? So I'm going to just say, okay, I'm going to add the fingerings here so that you can see the names, but look at this, okay? So this is, all we did is change the background, right? Again, I'm simplifying because some people will actually freeze up when they look at musical notation. So you say, I just changed the background, now you got these funny looking balloons, okay? And if I'm demoing, I say, pretty sneaky, huh? See, now you're recognizing how music notation represents a song you already know how to play the way we learn to speak first, then we learn to read words we already know. All right, so go ahead, put your hands there, Maria. But I'm gonna ask you this time, you see those little fingerings right there? See, I click on that. Now you have to click on the notes so they see the fingerings, and then they see one, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So that's the third finger of the left hand, which you have, okay? And you see it's a little mitt, and I hold my hand up like this to imitate, because the game object's very small, and so they need to just see the thumb gives them the orientation of which hand that is, okay? So I hold my hand up so they can see that correlation. All right, so that's the third finger of the left hand. Got it? You ready to go? She's like, I'm so ready to go. All right. So left hand, and you're going to fly over, right? Three. Now I sing with her. Ready? Four, three, four, two, three. See how I'm modeling also? Three, three, four, three, four, two, three, four, two. Now I want her to sing too, so she'll remember this. Because I'm going to transition. Four, three, four. Can you sing with me, Ray, please? Three, three. Left hand. Three. important that she sings because she's naming and thinking about the fingering numbers. Three, three. And in one simple pass of the song, she actually can memorize these fingerings. Four, three, four, two, three, three, two, three, three. Good job. Four, three, four, two, three, 
14. Great job. Okay? So at this point, she's doing so great, I might even stop and go, you know what? You're doing so great. Let's go to level four. All right? Now, and I always tell them, and this is true, I would never take a, an actual student to level four this quickly, but they're doing great, and let's see what they can do. And I leave the fingers, take off the guidelines, go to level four, and I say there's going to be no... Now we're just going to have the fingerings, no colors, okay? But you know it already, so here we go. And I, three of the left hand, right? And then jump up. Three, four, three. And then I touch again, right? Four, three, four. Four, three, four, two, three. Left hand, three, two, three. Ooh, you're doing so great. Four, three, four. notation okay you're reading music notation now we use the colors as a crutch and then we use the fingerings as a crutch to get off the colors and now we're going to use the fingerings as a crutch to get off the machine to the reading notation but all this time we're conditioning her not only to memorize this song but to absorb how music notation is representing this the same way you learn to read one word then another word then another they start to see patterns you start to see letters, it's the same principle. So we're doing this by doing. She's learning by doing. You're doing great. Let's give her a hand. All right. Now, usually on this fourth level, I leave the score on so she can see her score. It's usually in the 90 percentile. In this case, we disabled it. But if you leave that score on for the final, they're so amazed that they did this. The next level, I bring out the game, the, the song, right? Which is song seven. And I say, okay, you see this? And it, it, it has the fingerings in, right? You see the four, three, four, two, three, right? And they know the song already. So then we set it up for them very quickly. Now here's where I need to jump if I'm doing a demo. I quickly jump out of here, OK, exit, jump to easy mode, OK? And in easy mode, jump to free play. And a lot of people don't realize this is a feature of the game, so if you're showing this off. So here's free play, and here's all these different sounds. And I usually go to melodic percussion, and I choose the vibraphones, and I choose the color-coded notes even though she's not going to be reading them, it, it's nice background, okay? And I point out to her, look. So she realizes that this is going to play what she does. And now I say, okay, now remember this? So four, three, four, on the right hand, two, three. And I, I just start her off and I say, okay, let's go. Ready? Four, three, four, two, three. Left hand, three, two. Three, three, good job. Four, three, four, two, three, four, two. Now jump back up. Four, three, four, two, three, three, two, three, three, four, three, four, two, three, three, two. Normally, you would never have a kid being able to do this this quickly. So if they've made a few minor mistakes, as she did, I just say, great job, right? You're reading music, and they are. They're, they're looking at this. This is a frozen version of the game, right? And that's how I refer to it. Now, then people will say, hey, they're just memorizing a piece of music. OK, they memorized a piece of music in five minutes, OK? That's not a bad accomplishment. But in fact, they are actually absorbing this. And we can go further into this at some point. But that's how I do a five-minute demo.